Today I want to share some thoughts on the hard reality of today's health situation in both your country and mine. It's about facts and what has been done in other countries to help stop the spread of this pandemic. The coronavirus disease called COVID-19 first detected in Wuhan, China, and has now spread around the world and finally has arrived here in Uruguay. If it develops in Uruguay like in other countries, thousands of your neighbors could contract the disease and many could die. Already, more than a thousand people have died in the United States. The physical, emotional, and economic effects of COVID-19 in Uruguay will be determined, like in all other affected countries, by the actions we take today, tomorrow, and in the coming weeks. Now, now is the time to act, to protect yourself, your family, your neighbors, and your country. First, let me say, your new government is working day and night, doing all in their power to help their fellow countrymen. As COVID-19 spreads out of China, responding to the worldwide health pandemic has been a challenge for every country. I think your government is doing fantastic work with the resources at their command. Now, I want to speak from my heart to a country that I have come to love. I spent last Saturday and Sunday touring Montevideo to see for myself how your neighbors reacted to the threat of COVID-19. I must admit, my reaction to the activity on the streets, at the food ferries, on the beach was real, real concern. Too many, way too many of our neighbors are risking their health, their family's health, and your health. One of the most common ways COVID-19 spreads is from your hands to your face. Touch a doorknob, fruit at a stand, money, or stand close to someone that it isn't even aware they are infected and you have a very real chance of becoming infected too. Human to human, hand to face contact are the two of the most, most important major vectors of transmission. That is why medical professionals wear gloves like this and a mask like this when working with patients. These are necessary for medical professionals and we want to make sure they are in sufficient supply for them. So I wear these kitchen gloves and a scarf for face protection if I absolutely must leave the house. Both of these are easily available to everyone. I saw lots of people at the ferias last weekend, shoulder to shoulder, handling products, no protection. These unsafe, dangerous actions have been proven in other countries to spread the disease faster and cause more death than would be the case if we all distance ourselves from others and if we absolutely must go out wear gloves and face protection to prevent us from touching our face. Since we don't know who is infected, you must assume that anyone is. The easiest and most important steps any citizen can take to protect themselves and their family is separation, social distancing, washing your hands frequently, and protecting your face from the contact of unclean hands. As President Lakaji Poe said last week in regards to a large group at Ferias, it is important to respect the health guidelines of social distancing and staying at home. That is why I urge you to take the following actions to minimize your own risk of infection from COVID-19 or unknowingly spreading it to others. Stay home, stay safe, and follow the official guidelines to take care of your health and the health of those you care about. Cadence and Casa. Thank you.